Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create open envelope animation effect in PowerPoint. In my last video called PowerPoint animation to show terms and definitions, I got a comment from Mr. Padma Raju who asked how to do effect like opening card from envelope. Thank you Mr. Padma Raju for asking that question. This video is an answer to that question. The beautiful open envelope animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see, we have an envelope. On a click, the envelope opens like this and the card comes out. And you can have your message written here and it's a good thing if you can use handwritten font. Let us learn how to create this simple and useful animation effect from scratch. The first step is to go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and have a rectangular shape that matches the shape of your envelope. Then let us go to shape outline, no outline and choose a darker color, maybe something like this color, which is blue accent five darker 50%. The next step is to write the card on which you've got your message. Let me go to auto shapes gallery again. Let us use the same rectangles option and let us draw a rectangular shape and make sure that the size of this rectangle is slightly smaller than the size of the envelope because that is how it is naturally. Then let us remove the outline and then go to shape fill and choose a brighter color which is in contrast with this background here. Then let us go to home and let us write some text on this. Let us go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the text box tool and write something like this is the text that goes inside the envelope on the card. Whatever you want to write is good enough. Let me use a handwritten font for this one. Let me go down and the one that I'm going to use is Jenna Su. So this is a handwritten font that I got from the net. It is a free font, J-E-N-N-A-S-U-E. -N -N -E. So click on that and this is how the text looks and I'm going to increase the font size like so and let us readjust the size so that it fits quite snugly on the card. I'm going to keep this slightly towards the upper edge of this uh, yellow shape or the card so that once it pops out, it's easy for the people to read. And I'm going to have this text and the card selected together and then press Control G to group them. Now we have got our card in place and we have got our background in place and this background is actually the inside of the envelope. Now let us try and create the folds in front of the envelope. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this isosceles triangle shape, draw the shape, rotate it right, for which let me go to Home, Arrange, Rotate and say Rotate Right 90 degrees and I'm going to place it over here. And let me adjust the height in such a way that it matches the height of this background shape that we created. Then let us extend this somewhere closer to the center. Then make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. Then go to Arrange, Rotate and say Flip Vertical and then make this align with the right edge of the earlier shape. Then let us make another copy by pressing Ctrl D and then arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and place this over here. And this should span the entire bottom edge. Now that looks good enough. Then let us adjust the height somewhere around here. Yeah, it is pretty good. You can always make some minor adjustments to the shape like the way that I'm showing you now. And let us select this one and adjust the size. Yeah, then we need to make a copy of this triangle here, press Ctrl D and then let us flip this, go to arrange, rotate and say flip vertical and then go all the way here and place it over here. Now our envelope is pretty much ready. If you want, you can have this extend slightly a little bit down so that it looks as if it is covering the entire thing. That is quite neat. The next thing I'm going to do is to select this and make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. And then let us flip this vertically again. And this we are going to keep on top of the earlier one. And this time we need to match the color of this one 
to the color that we chose earlier so let us go to shape fill and if you remember this is the color that we chose for the background of the envelope so let us select that go to shape outline and say no outline now we have got our basic shapes in place it is now time for us to use custom animation the first thing I am going to do is to go to animations and keep the animation pane open so you can see what I am doing. For this piece, we are going to use an exit animation. Let us go to animation options and let us choose more exit effects. The exit effect that I want to use is called as collapse and it is under moderate and click on this and say OK. From effect options, you say that the collapse is going to happen to top. So that is how the effect looks. Then let us select this one, go to animations and this time I'm going to choose an entrance effect. Let us go to more entrance effects and the one that we want is called as stretch that is available here in moderate and let us go to stretch and say OK and effect options and say from bottom. So that is how this effect works and we need to have this happening after previous. So the way the animation would look now is like this can you see here it is opening up now of course there is a bit of a gap here and that is because we removed the outline so we need to just move this slightly down let us use the down arrow to move this slightly yeah that looks good enough the next step now is to pull out the card now the card obviously is not visible to you so we need to go to home go to select and open the selection pane so you can see everything here let us take this flap and it is called as isosceles triangle 10 if you want to change the name you can use it as flap and then let us click on this one here called the eye icon and let us click on it therefore you are not able to see that right now now let us select this and apply motion path animation so that it extends out let us go to animations go to motion path animation and effect options we are going to use up so this comes out yeah that is exactly the way i want and you can see that we need to have this sent back so this flap has to go back so i'm going to say right click send to back now that is done now that we have completed our animation we can have the previous flap back so i'm going to use show all option now that brings that back close this now let us have this animation happen after previous so let us select this go to start after previous and now everything is complete let us go to the slideshow mode and see the beautiful thing we have created just now on a click collapse stretch and motion path animation you can use the simple and beautiful effect to make surprise announcements for example if you want to felicitate someone who has achieved something nice, you can use this to announce the name. You can use this effect to announce the name of a contest winner or someone who won a quiz. There are so many different ways in which you can use this simple and practical effect. By the way, this is available as a template in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. For example, you have variations like this one or this one. If you want to reveal information from inside the drawers like this, you can use something like this. These are all templates that are already there. All you need to do is to just replace this text with your own text to make those announcements. And we have some very basic and practical ones like say vertical scroll available ready-made as templates. We have horizontal scroll available and even things like when you have different text elements that are available like this we can always have that sorted out into two neat little categories like this and so on there are so many different types of action oriented and concept oriented animated templates available as part of our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle this bundle has more than 4020 premium powerpoint templates that serve the need of business presenters so if you are someone who needs to make business presentations and make a lasting impact on your audience, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle could be the right product for you. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can come to this page, make the one-time investment and create wonderful presentations forever in your life. By the way, did you like our open envelope animation effect in PowerPoint? If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
If you want to watch more such videos on PowerPoint and Excel, then please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about any new videos we post on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.